I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and I wanted to show you a short little tutorial here on how to find more things at my, on my channel because I know a lot of times I'll get uh, communications from people wondering where certain videos are and I'm hoping that this little talk here will help you understand how to get more out of the channel and actually what I'm about to show you can apply to any of the channels on YouTube. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, first of all, I have my intro video here of something I'm featuring that's coming new or maybe something that, you know, I want to share with you. Right here is the almighty subscribe button. And if you haven't clicked that already, I just want to encourage you to do that so that, you know, you don't miss any of the new offerings that I have coming your way. Okay, as we go down, we have some more recent uploads in my channel right here. And you have four videos. Of course, I've got a lot more than four videos here. I've got well over 400 now. And so if you want to see more, you just hit show more and the computer will load more videos. Let's say try that again. Oh, there we go. We'll load more videos. And here's uh, the fan stitch baby blanket. Um, let me show you one other thing. I do a lot of videos for right-handers and left-handers, the same exact video. So if you are a left-hander, make sure you click on a video that specifically says for left-handers. Otherwise, you're going to be getting the right-handed version um, and, and vice versa. Okay, so here are some more. Now, there are a lot more videos on my list or on my channel than this. So let's go down here, and here's another um, line it says created playlist you can look at some of these playlists here and you can click on this little arrow and it will go horizontally okay and there's a few things but that's just a few of the playlists if you want to see all the created playlist hit created playlist and a bunch of things will pop up okay a lot of these okay we've got some um, that feature specific Afghans to be made so with yarn talks, uh, stoles, um, we have more and more afghans. Now this is one of my favorites right here I wanted to show you. It says textured afghans to crochet. If you're looking to, to learn more Aran style textured afghans, you just hit this, view, um, view fuel, full list, bleh, okay, and you will see um, the Tree of Life Afghan, which is one that I did uh, per request. It's actually not my uh, original design, but it is my instruction. Um, and this is another Afghan, uh, Chevrons and Diamond Throw. Again, one that I um, got permission to record, but that is somebody else's. Um, actually, the author of that or the designer is unknown. Um, but anyway, I don't want to take credit where something is not mine. This is another uh, Aaron Sampler Mystery Throw starts with square number one and goes to square number six and then shows you actually square number five and then video six shows you how to put it all together and add a border to it. Okay, here's another fun afghan that I designed for Red Heart many years ago, the Basket Weave Diamond Throw. There are five videos for this. Now if you're looking for the left-handed version, I'll show you how to search for that in just a minute. Okay, here's another afghan, which is kind of fun to do during the summer, of the Divine Textured Throw and Pillow. For the record, I did not pick the name of that. Um, but anyway, it's a great summer afghan because you only crochet it one small square at a time. And one of the more popular um, projects I have, the Aaron Hearts Throw, has eight videos, I believe. Let me see, is it eight? Yeah, that's right, eight videos. And then another Holidays Cable Throw. So there's a lot of textured... Um, Afghans just right here on my channel. So let's let's go back to the playlist and I'll show you some more things that um, are helpful. Um, let's see if you're looking for knit crate unboxing videos I've got a bunch of those. Um, I even have some beginning knitting for right handers and for left handers so if you're looking to learn how to knit and I knit primarily actually only in the continental style um, check those out. For summer you want a summer cable poncho, there's one right here, which would be a great time of the year. People have asked about that one in particular recently. Um, let me see, let me see. I also have books on the market, crochet books. And in these videos here, it says um, Contemporary Celtic Crochet. I'm going to go ahead and hit the list. Okay, 
This first video shows you what designs are in the book. I'm not trying to hard sell you or anything, just trying to explain how, how my books work. Um, now, I don't have video tutorials specifically for all these designs. There are actually two on my channel, one's at the bottom of this list. But I do have all the stitch videos um, videotaped so that you can learn how to do the stitches that the um, various patterns call for. Okay. And when you go all the way down to the bottom of this list, there's actually a design here that's in the book, and that is a complete video tutorial. There's another blanket um, on my channel separately. It's called the Hialeah Honey Baby Blanket. There's also a design inside this book, and I teach you how to do that stitch by stitch. Okay, um, let me see. Down here at the bottom are a couple of important uh, video lists. Okay, we have beginning crochet videos right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So if you're a, a true beginner, I take you from how to hold the yarn for crochet all the way down um, to the all the major stitches that you really will ever need as a crocheter and it won't take you that long to learn them. After that I have some beginner projects down here, some of the easy beginners, uh, baby blankets, a headband, a scarf, even a rug. So these are some things that you can easily learn just from this video list here. Um, another important list, and again, I do have this in left-handed for the left-handers. Okay, here is one of the most important lists too, is the Celtic Air and Crochet stitches. If you want to look at see what other stitches there are, or if you're looking for a specific stitch in any of my designs, you can always come to this page and see where the stitches are. Click on them and you can learn how to crochet, I, I believe, just from looking at these um, video, videos. If you ever have There's one more thing I wanted to show you um, before I sign off, and that is the speed of the video. Um, sometimes I know I can get carried away and, and just go a little bit too fast for some of you beginners and maybe for some of you intermediate, advanced crocheters, I can lull you to sleep because I'm not going fast enough. I have a solution for everybody. Here's this little setting. It looks like a gear. Um, I've had to be logged in, so if my screen looks a little bit different, it's because I'm logged into the creator's screen. But when you're logged in to YouTube, you hit this little gear-like icon right here. Okay, there it goes. And you can see this thing that says playback speed, and it's set to normal. If I want to change that, and this, by the way, works for any of the videos on YouTube, if I want to slow it down to 75 or percent of the speed, I could just click that. Or maybe I want to go half speed. And if you click that, and then when you go to play the video, it will be half as fast. It will be it will be much slower. Okay. Let's say I want to make it one and a half times as fast. So you, know, you want to speed me up a little bit. You just click it right there, and then as you play it back, it will be a lot faster. So I hope that's helpful. Again, it's right here, this little gear, and that will, you know, help you, uh, you know, control the speed of which you want to watch any of the videos on YouTube. All right. Well, I think that's about it for now. I just wanted to encourage you again to hit that little subscribe button if you haven't already. And if, should you have any questions or comments, please just comment below and I will get back to you. God bless. Bye-bye.